Hi, I'm Bobby McGee from Bobby McGee Endurance Sports. Today I'm going to work a little bit with you guys on a drill that I found very effective with, uh, with my runners and triathletes. And uh, it's a, a drill that I call dog bones. And I call them dog bones because you use these tiny little weights. These happen to be little two pound weights. And I do them very regularly with my runners. And, and it helps them teach the connection between the upper body and the shoulder movement and how the pelvis should move. Now, now in running, the, uh, the way that running works, if, if running were an orchestra or a band, the band leader is actually the legs and the rest of the body follows. So the upper body works as a counterbalance for that. And so this is a little three-stage drill set that works really, really well for that. All right, so the first thing you do is you just set up um, with one foot forward, one foot back, and you really want to be with your weight on your forefeet and actually a little bit more weight on that front leg. So you don't want to be leaning back like this on that back leg. Get the weight nicely on the front leg. Get the arms up with the middle of the forearm in the middle of the chest here is a good place for that to be. You don't want to be too much out in the front and you definitely don't want to be in this position here which I call the dying quail. And you'll notice that my chest is nice and square on my pelvis. All right, I don't have that chest all the way up and I'm also not bent at the waist in this position here. So I'm nicely stacked. I'm up in this position here. My weight is on my forefoot. My eyes are looking down about 25 feet in front of me and my head is square on my shoulders. All right, and so what I'm going to be doing is to swing my arms vigorously. You'll notice that my shoulders go forward and backwards and it's not a rotational motion. It's my elbow reaching and coming back and the primary move is the pullback move. This is just a reset move on the front. The primary move is a pullback move. Hands nice and relaxed. Thumbs on either side of the weight, not on top creating pressure. So nice and loose with the hands but firm in the wrists. All right, and then that's the movement there. Just nice forward and back, nice and powerful movement. All right, and making sure that you're just staying down in posture and if you do it correctly you'll feel that you're very balanced that you're actually gyroscopically grounded to the ground then as you move up you make this movement a little bit more difficult I'll do this one from the front I'm taking this right foot of mine and I'm putting it behind my left foot just as a little little bit of a balance aid and then I'm doing that same motion again you'll notice the shoulders going backwards and forwards again but now I'm a lot more unstable which is how I am when I'm running all right and then the last one I'm going to put that weight on the front foot. I'm actually going to pick up the back foot. All right. So if that back foot's going left and right, then this movement is not gyroscopic. Then I'm going to create an imbalance and fall over. And if I'm doing that, I'm not doing the movement correctly. So I'm going to put that foot on the forefoot. I'm going to get this foot out the back. And then I'm going to be doing that motion like that, nice and powerfully forward and backwards. All right. And that's a really, really good way to develop that correct upper body motion that you do and in that way coordinate the shoulders with the hips and get yourself really really powerful so good luck out there